What's going on, Grizz Nation? Welcome to another Grizz Game Day update. I'm Kelsey. I am joined by our lovely friend up in Detroit, Omari Sankova. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Been a long week, but uh, excited to get past this trade deadline here and uh, yeah. get back to basketball. Yes, it's the last day. And okay, so besides the trade deadline stuff, because at this time, and we're doing this in the morning, everyone's good, everyone's safe. So the news is still that the Grizzlies will take on the Detroit Pistons today in Detroit. Um, so Omari will be there. Tip off if you're watching from Memphis is at six o'clock PM. Um, look, let's do like a quick overview. The Detroit Pistons are not having themselves like the best season in the world. Uh, they lost to the Grizzlies earlier this season. They've lost their last five games. The Grizzlies kind of on a roll right now, finding momentum. They've won six of their last seven. Um, and on top of that, the Grizzlies have a pretty clean slate in terms of like their starters, other than Dylan Brooks heading into today's game, the Pistons out, Josh Jackson, Kate Cunningham, Isaiah. Um, so when we, Isaiah liver, sorry, when we look at who the Grizzlies are putting on the floor tonight versus who Detroit is putting on the floor tonight, how does that matchup work? Who's going to stop jaw? Who's going to stop Des? Who's kind of like battling down low against Steven Adams and Jaron. It'll be what coaching, what coaches call a team effort, <laughs> you know, because I don't think there is a way to, uh, you know, if you just look at what Josh doing this season, um, you know, not too many teams have been able to find the formula to stop him uh, just because he's so quick, he's so athletic. And I think this is a season where he's really uh, realizing no one can stay in front of me, you know, I can get to the paint as much as I want. And that's what I'm going to do. So um, from the Pistons standpoint, you know, I think it puts a lot of pressure on guys like uh, Isaiah Stewart, uh, you know, who is pretty good at switching at the five. But, you know, of course, a lot of guys switching against aren't as shifty as, as Ja. Is he a so, rising star this year? He is a rising star this I year. I thought so. Yeah. And then Cade Cunningham and Sadiq Bay are too. Uh, so, you know, you know, that's what the Pistons team is kind of where the Grizzlies were a couple years ago, right? Like you have a lot of young, talented players and – uh, it's just more so continuing to put talent around them and hoping that it clicks a few years down the road. So, uh, yeah, Grizzlies are probably going to win 50 plus games this year. Uh, Pistons might win half that, but, uh, you know, they're very much in the rebuild right now. So they're, you know, hoping to get to where the Grizzlies are. There are a couple stats going into this game, and you mentioned a lot of the guards and the scoring, but the Grizzlies right now lead the league in rebounding where, uh, the Pistons are, I mean, bottom three, bottom two in rebounding. And that obviously has a lot to do with Steven Adams and Jaron Jackson Jr. And I mean, really, John Morant gets a good amount of rebounds too. But when we look at the big guys, who's the rebounder for the Pistons? Who's Steven Adams going to be battling tonight? So Isaiah Stewart has been the best rebounder on the same this season. Mm -hmm. And actually going into this game, he's on his best rebounding streak. He's grabbed at least 10 in his last six games. And I believe wow. he had uh, 15 uh, two nights ago. Um, so, you know, he's really been on a tear in that regard. And Isaiah's a little bit under, undersized. He's about 6'8", 6'9". So to see him do that, you know, of course, is a good development uh, for the Pistons. And then also uh, your guy, uh, Kelly Olenek, who's been, you know, kind of in and out this year um, with the knee injury and then COVID, but he's back now. And Kelly, of course, has always been a pretty good rebounder. So the Pistons haven't rebounded well this season just because they've been so small at center. You know, Isaiah Stewart and then uh, Kelly Olenek missed, I think, 33 straight games with COVID and a left knee sprain. And he's still kind of getting his legs back under him. So they've played a lot of Trey Lyles at the five. And, you know, Trey Lyles is, is more of a four. And we've seen some Luka Garza at the five. And, of course, he's a rookie. So uh, it's been a little bit of a turnstile at, at center this year. Uh, but for tonight, they will have Isaiah Stewart and they will have Kelly Olenek. So that could even up that battle a bit. All right. And that has a lot to do with the points in the paint as well. Obviously, another category that the Grizzlies lead in and Detroit is, I mean, bottom six, bottom 10. Um, it's fast break points as well, Omari. The Grizzlies lead one, Pistons at 22. Tell me something that the Pistons do well that, you know, if the Grizzlies aren't careful, if they do let up, if they go into this game with kind of the wrong mindset, the Pistons could have a little surprise no doubt uh the Pistons have a couple of guys who you know can really just like catch fire and mm -hmm. if you look at a lot of the games you know that they've won uh, they, they stole a game against the Cleveland Cavaliers a couple of years ago um you know of course they beat the Utah Jazz this year they beat the Milwaukee Bucks this year uh so they get a couple of guys going that's a big one the Bucks was a big one and they did yeah. that in Milwaukee too mm -hmm. uh, I guess a, a healthy Bucks team um and that was like I think 
maybe their first game in 2022. So that game was kind of like, oh, okay. Uh, this seems, <laughs> they seem to be putting some things together. Mm-hmm. Um, and just the biggest issue for the team has just been health all season. And Kate Cunningham is questionable going into tonight. So if they get him back, if you can get Kate going, if you can get, you know, Sadiq going, because Sadiq could pop off for, uh, you know, six, seven threes. He's had a few games a season when he's had, you know, five plus threes and, you know, 30 plus points. And then they have Jeremy Grant back too. Uh, all of those are guys who can get their own shot. You know, like they're all big wings. Um, you know, the guys that can just pose matchup problems for a lot of teams. Uh, the Grizzlies are a team that have a lot of wings and even some guards who can defend up a bit, like Dansby Melton can. Uh, you know, like you could probably put him on Cade and feel pretty good about it just because his wingspan is so long. Um, but for the Pistons, I think really it's just about them getting a couple of guys going and, and, and ho- hoping that's enough because the Pistons do compete defensively. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, for them, I think a lot, a lot of the offensive issues have been on offense. So if they don't have Cade tonight, then that makes it a lot tougher. But, you know, if Cade's in it, you can get one of Sadiq, one of Jeremy going. Um, Hamilo Diablo has been really good over the last three months. Uh, I think that's when the opposing teams get in trouble because uh, when those guys are on, they're they're on. It's, there's not a whole lot you can do to kind of slow them down. Yeah, so it just depends who is available for tonight then. And I think Cade is kind of like the head of that snake for this team. Although although he's young, he is kind of like what Jaw was to this Grizzlies team a few years ago. Um, okay, to end off, Omari, let's do one player from our respective teams. And I feel like you can't choose Cade because he's questionable. So he's like off the table. One player from each team that if they have a good night, it could flip a switch on the opposition. You go first. So I'm going to go with Sadiq Bey. And uh, he actually did not have a great game a couple of nights ago against the Dallas Mavericks. But uh, I mentioned earlier, like he's really popped off for some really big performances this season. Mm -hmm. Um, He had six three-pointers and 24 points against the Minnesota Timberwolves on uh, Sunday. Uh, he's had some 30 point games here and there. Of course, he was first team on rookie last season. Uh, so the issue with Sadiq is that he's just, he's a second year guy and he's after that to be uh, Detroit's second best offensive player uh, this season. And, uh, you know, just because it seems so young, I feel like guys have been asked to, you know, maybe play a slightly bigger role than you would ideally want them to. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so Sadiq's had some consistency issues, but if he's got a night where he's not missing, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do to slow him down just because he is such a great three-point shooter. Uh, so he's definitely my pick for this. If Sadiq Bey is going, it just opens things up for everybody else. So it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, Sadiq Bey. I'm going to go just with his counterpart then. I'm going to go with Desmond Bain for the Memphis right. Grizzlies. He hasn't had the best, I'd say, four or five games shooting-wise um, and percentage-wise. And so I think maybe tonight... If he has some healthy competition, if Sadiq Bay is going off, he's going to have to try and keep up from beyond the three-point line. Um, and I think he could have a little bit of a bounce back game. And I think Detroit would be a good start for that. Um, they have a whole lot of away games this month. So I think starting off tonight with him against someone who they really do have like similar games. Um, I think that would be a big one for Desmond Bain to get back in it because Jaron and Ja have just been on fire lately. So I don't want to pick them because it feels like too easy of a choice yeah for sure and jaron also saw he was the blocks leader too so he's been you know he's been killing on both ends of the floor so yeah no, i definitely see that yeah so detroit's gonna have to pump fake a few times because jaron's just yeah <laughs> all right that's been our game day update make sure you are tuning in at six o'clock on valley sports southeast and omari thank you so much for your time today yeah thank you so much for having me Good luck tonight.